Number 10. Nike Missile Bases During the Cold War, the United States government established nearly 300 missile sites as part of Project Nike, which saw the development of the country's first operational anti-aircraft missile system. Between 1954 and the 1970s, the supersonic surface-to-air missiles sat at these sites, ready to launch in the event of a Soviet bomber attack. But as the Soviets shifted their focus to developing intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, the threat of an air attack lessened. The US government needed money to fund its own ICBM project, as well as the country's deepening involvement in the Vietnam War. Starting in the mid-1960s, the number of active Nike missile bases throughout America steadily decreased. By 1974, all the sites were closed. The remnants of some 265 properties are still visible today, but only a few remain intact. Eventually, they'll be reclaimed by nature, redeveloped, or repurposed by the military. In recent years, geographic information systems specialist David Tewksbury worked to compile a visual record of the sites before they vanish. The project involved combing through hundreds of Google Earth images with plans to use them in a database that could be accessed through the program. The collection includes aerial photos of deserted and overgrown bases in Cleveland, Seattle, Chicago, Indiana, the Hawaiian island of Oahu and elsewhere. Number 9. A Deserted City East St. Louis, Illinois was once a prosperous boomtown with a peak population of around 82,000 residents during the 1920s. It was one of the most successful cities in the state until the 1960s when the manufacturers that once brought thousands of jobs to the area moved their operations elsewhere, taking 70% of the city's businesses with them. Between 1970 and 2000, East St. Louis lost over half its population as residents left for better economic opportunities in other places. Today, less than 30,000 people live there. When most people think of the devastation that plagued the Rust Belt during the deindustrialization era, cities like Detroit and Buffalo are among the first that often come to mind. In fact, it's unlikely that many people from outside the region surrounding East St. Louis had ever even heard of it until recent years, when the city made news headlines for its widespread crime, poverty, and empty decaying buildings. Viral Google Earth and Street View photos reveal the shocking devastation that plagues the area. Eerily empty streets are lined with deserted businesses and countless homes are boarded up. Buildings crumble from years of neglect, spilling bricks and building materials onto the ground below. The most visible landmark is the 12-story Spivey Building, which was built during the 1920s in an attempt to give East St. Louis a skyline. But instead of making the city more attractive, it's become a graffiti-covered eyesore. Many locals are dedicated to reviving the area. They've built community gardens and a new church and library. And there's even talk about establishing a branch of Eastern Illinois University, along with gambling establishments that'll bring jobs to the population. Hopefully 20 years from now, the Google view of East St. Louis will show a thriving city enjoying a successful renaissance. Number 8. SS Jassim on December 1, 2003, a Bolivian cargo ship called the SS Jassim ran aground on the Wingate Reef off the coast of Sudan. To this day, nobody knows why it capsized. The 265-foot-long vessel is one of the largest shipwrecks that can be seen on Google Earth. For a while, the Jassim could be seen laying on its side. A travel company called Emperor Divers asked the Sudanese government to relocate the wreck to deeper waters. But at the time, there was an ongoing investigation to determine who was at fault for the crash. Since then, the vessel appears to have sunk almost entirely. The Norwegian-built ship was launched in 1961. It was owned by Al Ramzadi Sea Transport of Qatar when it joined the many other wrecks in the area, which is popular among divers. Interestingly, very little information is available about the Jassim. It doesn't even appear to have its own Wikipedia page, leaving its history and the circumstances surrounding the wreck shrouded in mystery. Number 7. Mysterious Ice Ship in 2020, a Google Earth user spotted what he thought was a 400-foot-long ice ship off the Antarctic coast. He shared his findings on YouTube, along with the suspicions that something is hidden beneath the snow and ice. 
The video caught the attention of conspiracy theorists who were quick to chime in with their theories about the alleged ship. Some thought it looked like a cruise liner with windows laying on its side and wondered what the vessel was doing in such a remote part of the globe. Others believe that the YouTuber had found Noah's Ark. There's also a good chance that the image features a large chunk of ice and snow that simply happens to resemble an overturned ship. In fact, humans have a proven tendency to see familiar objects and patterns in random or unrelated objects and patterns. It's called pareidolia, and it's the same mechanism that's at play when we stare up the clouds and look for recognizable shapes. What do you think? Is it possible that the object is an ice-covered shipwreck, or are the YouTuber and his followers seeing something that isn't there? Let us know in the comments below, but first, be sure to subscribe. Number 6. Roman Ruins while studying aerial images of his hometown in Sorbolo, Italy in 2005, a computer programmer named Luca Mori spotted the path of an ancient dried up river. Nearby, he noticed some unusual rectangular shadows. Upon taking a closer look, Mori determined that the shapes represented a buried man-made structure. He continued to examine the site until he made out what happened to be the inner courtyards of an ancient villa. The observant Google Earth enthusiast contacted archaeologists who initially suspected that the structure dated back to the Bronze Age. They later confirmed, based on ceramic fragments found at the site, that it was a pre-Christian Roman villa. Mori probably didn't realize it at the time, but his discovery marked one of the first examples of Google Earth being used as an archaeological tool. It was also among the first of numerous archaeological discoveries that have been made by ordinary people since the software became widely available. Number 5. Mysterious Stone Structures Little is known about the history of Saudi Arabia's vast deserts, especially when it comes to the pre-Islamic era. The harsh climate and political instability have made it difficult at times for archaeologists to carry out excavations. Technology is making it a lot easier for researchers to identify potential ruins in places that aren't always easily accessible. In 2020, experts detected over 100 strange stone structures in the Nafu Desert using Google Earth. Known as mustatils, they represent a newly discovered type of structure, and they're incredibly ancient, with some dating as far back as 7,000 years. Between 10,000 and 6,000 years ago, Saudi Arabia underwent a green period. Unusually high rainfall led to the unusual presence of greenery, making the region more livable than we know it as today. The people who passed through the region during this time and shortly after built the elongated rectangular structures with thousands of tons of stones and rock. Measuring roughly 480 by 420 feet on average, the Mustatils represent some of the world's grandest prehistoric monumental architecture. They were found near water sources and researchers initially suspected that they were built in response to climate change. But their purpose is a mystery, and the team failed to identify any obvious practical use for them, leading them to conclude that the monuments had some sort of ritual or symbolic meaning. Number 4. Ancient Geoglyphs Sometimes it takes looking at something from a different angle to discover something fascinating hidden in plain sight. There are more than 50 massive geoglyphs dotting the landscape in northern Kazakhstan, but they're difficult to notice at ground level. The collection of shapes, including squares, rings, and crosses, are much more visible from a bird's eye view. Researchers discovered the sprawling geoglyphs in 2014 using Google Earth. Curiously, some of them resemble swastikas, which were commonly used during ancient times before the design became a hateful symbol. Measuring between 200 195 and 1,312 feet long, the geoglyphs are made from earthen mounds. A team discovered the remains of structures and hearths at the sites, indicating that rituals took place there. The geoglyphs may have also been used to mark land ownership, according to archaeologist Irina Shavina and Andrew Logvin, who spoke with Live Science. But experts are admittedly unsure of who built them, why they used geometric designs, and what purpose the geoglyphs served. Number 3. A Derelict Mansion 
In Hertfordshire, England, there is a derelict mansion that was once owned by an eccentric Greek millionaire named Athanasios Thanos Takmintzis. He bought the property in 1999 and lived there as a recluse with at least three of his five children. The family suddenly abandoned the home in 2016 without explanation. It's nearly impossible to see the mansion from the road because it's hidden by trees, but overhead images of it have surfaced on Google Earth in recent years giving users a rare peek at the deserted property. Even from the outside, it's clear that the house and the smaller building next to it are in a state of neglect. There are several aging cars parked outside, including a Bentley. One urban explorer was brave enough to investigate the site firsthand. The condition the home was left in tells the story of a family that picked up and moved in a hurry. There were unfinished board games on the table and clean plates in the dishwasher that never got put away. Furniture still fills the rooms and there's a telescope positioned toward a large window. The upstairs closets are filled with designer clothing and other personal belongings that most people take with them when they move. Thanos reportedly profited well enough from his investments not to leave home much and he preferred it that way. But his life was shrouded in mystery. Nobody seemed to know what the man did for a living and he stashed large wads of cash throughout the home. He was also allegedly obsessed with security and had guards and Dobermans at the property when he lived there. Speaking with the son, brother-in-law Gordon Michael John described Thanos as a miser who acted flashy in front of people but was cheap behind closed doors. Last he knew, the man was living in London. Whatever he's up to, he clearly wants to be left alone and doesn't care to indulge the public on why he fled his mansion on what seems like a moment's notice. Number 2. Lost Amazonian Settlements In 2018, a postdoctoral student at the University of Exeter named Jonas de Souza discovered a collection of lost Amazonian settlements in Brazil. He made the fascinating finds using Google Earth and satellite technology that enables researchers to see traces of structures that are buried in the ground or shrouded by thick vegetation. Although de Souza's team found 81 pre-Columbian sites containing 104 earthen defensive structures, evidence of deforestation in these areas further points toward previous human activity. Dating back to sometime around 1500 AD, these villages may have once housed millions of people. Around 1 million residents lived in settlements along the Tapajos River. Researchers believe Europeans wiped the population out through violence and disease. Speaking with new scientists, de Souza pointed out that most of the Amazon remains unexplored by archaeologists. As they continue to survey the land, they're realizing that parts of the Amazon basin were much more settled than they previously thought. In fact, experts assumed many areas were never lived in by humans until they discovered evidence to the contrary through these types of studies. The findings demonstrate the need to revisit some of the early European colonizers who described seeing massive settlements in the region. In his chronicling of the explorations of Francisco de Oriana, Gaspar de Carvajal wrote of a town that stretched for 15 miles without any space from house to house. These accounts were often written off as fantasies or exaggerated observations, but there's a growing body of evidence suggesting that maybe the seemingly wild claims of early explorers were truthful after all. Number 1. Ancient Fish Trap in 2009, researchers noticed a large underwater V-shaped stone structure in the Tyve estuary near Britain's Poppet Sands Beach. Measuring more than 750 feet long, it protrudes roughly a foot above the sand. Archaeologists identified the structure as an ancient fish trap known as Fish Weir. It was never noticed until it was examined from an aerial view because it looks like a natural reef when you're in the water, according to diver and environmental lecturer Dr. Ziggy Otto, who spoke with Mail Online. When it was in use, the weir would have trapped fish behind its walls when the tide receded. It's completely underwater today and is likely around a thousand years old. Fish weirs were common in Britain at the time, and they were so effective that they were banned in rivers because they threatened the fish supply. But the ban didn't include coastal waters, so people built the traps there. The fish weir at Poppet Sands is believed to be one of the biggest structures of its kind. 
Thanks for watching. Have you ever discovered something mysterious on Google Earth? Tell us about it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.